One way to enjoy your outdoor entertaining space more often is to bring some of the indoor activities outside. I'm talking audio-visual epicness with speakers, TVs, and projectors. I'll walk you through the must-knows when it comes to outdoor audio-visual entertainment. Now, it is still too cold in Minnesota to use an actual patio, so we built a set. Check it out. All right, let's talk outdoor audio. Speakers are a must for any gathering. Whether it's background music to fill the lulls or upbeat tracks to keep the party going, the right audio components are critical. For starters, consider a portable Bluetooth speaker. They're typically compact, lightweight, and easy to move. And speaking of, check out the Sonos Move portable Bluetooth speaker. It packs a punch. You can stream directly from your phone or tablet with high quality using the built-in TruePlay automatic audio tuning. And it links right into a Sonos system, which is so nice if you already have Sonos in your home. If you have multiple Sonos music players, you can control what's playing in any space from anywhere in your house. <laughs> Pretty cool. One crucial thing to consider for portable Bluetooth speakers is battery capacity. The Sonos Move can provide up to 11 hours of playback, and you can still play music while it's charging. The Sonos Move is weatherproof and drop resistant, but remember to bring it indoors to charge when you're not using it. Now let's talk about rock speakers. And I don't mean rock and roll, I mean rocks, like from the earth. These incognito speakers are designed to look just like rocks, so they fit right in with your backyard landscaping. Maybe you've got yourself a technology-free backyard oasis, but you still want some music. Well, here you go. They come in a variety of sizes and styles, in wired, battery, or solar versions. These speakers from Innovative Technology are great for background music. They're solar powered, so you don't have to worry about wires or cables. They recharge from the sun in about six hours, and the large battery can last up to 50 hours, so you can keep the music going long after the sun sets. Simply connect your phone via Bluetooth and enjoy the tunes. They are also durable and weather resistant, meaning you can leave them outdoors, so they're ready when you are. Moving on, let's talk about an epic upgrade, landscape speakers which are designed to blend in with your outdoor environment and provide even high quality sound coverage across your backyard. Check out the Sonance Mag 6.1 landscape speaker system. This system is powered by Sonos, so you can easily control the music and access audio streaming services with the super simple Sonos app from your smartphone or tablet. They can be hidden among the plants and trees to blend in with your landscape and provide even coverage across your entire space. Each speaker will need to be wired back to the included Sonos amp that powers the system, which you'll place inside your home. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can hide the wiring by burying it in the ground. If you're not comfortable doing this, Best Buy is always happy to help. And let me tell you, it is worth it for the high quality sound and convenience you'll get. This system includes six three and a half inch satellite speakers and, can't forget about the bass, an eight inch in-ground subwoofer. Landscape speakers are fabulous if you want always available speakers that blend into your environment, can withstand weather conditions, and provide high quality, even sound coverage around your yard. Next on our list are outdoor mounted speakers, another weather resistant option to consider for your entertaining and enjoyment. They come in various sizes and styles and can be mounted on walls, posts, or other structures. These are the Yamaha Natural Sound All Weather Outdoor Speakers. One pair should be good to cover two to 400 square feet. Speaker placement is important. If you place them too far apart, you'll have uneven sound and a dead zone in the middle. If you're needing to cover a larger area, consider adding another pair. Oh, and quick mounting tip. Mount them under an eave or in a corner to minimize their exposure to rain or snow. And place them between six and 10 feet apart, but keep in mind that they need to be connected via speaker wires to work. And like traditional speakers, they need to be connected to a receiver to use, which is not included. So you can't just put these on a stand or wall like a Bluetooth speaker, they get their signal from a receiver. So make sure you plan accordingly before you jump into action. Now let's talk video. Outdoor TVs can take backyard entertainment to the next level. However, there are a few critical considerations when choosing one, such as brightness, weather resistance, and durability. Talking about brightness first, think about where you'll be placing it and how much sun it gets so you can choose the right TV. Full sun versions are designed to be in direct sun with a super bright picture and minimized reflection. Partial sun versions give you the best of both worlds, adjusting brightness, contrast, and color as lighting conditions change. Full shade TVs are best for covered patios and porches when the TV is always in full shade. Check out the Terrace Series 65 inch TV from Samsung. This particular unit is designed to be mounted in full sun. 
I've also got the Sunbright TV Veranda 3 Series TV with me today. This unit is intended for a full shade setting. Most TV manufacturers, including these two, offer different models for sun, partial sun, and full shade. Next, let's talk weather resistance and durability. An important measurement to consider is the IP rating, which stands for ingress protection. Many outdoor TVs, including the two I have with me today, have an IP55 rating. The first digit represents the amount of protection the enclosure of the device provides against solids, like hands, tools, or dust, rated from zero to six. Zero meaning no protection, six meaning fully protected from dust. The second digit represents the amount of protection the enclosure of the device provides against liquids, rated from zero to nine. Zero meaning no protection, nine meaning protected from high pressure hot water from different angles. The higher the number, the more protection. Again, many outdoor TVs have an IP55 rating. The first five means it is dust protected. The limited amount of dust that can get in shouldn't affect the functioning of the device. The second five means it is protected from jets of water. So if your garden sprinkler interrupts your movie and splashes your TV, it should be just fine. A cool feature on the Sunbright TV veranda is the large weatherproof media bay, which has plenty of storage room for streaming devices and cables. You can also check on the TV specs to see the minimum and maximum operating and non-operating temperatures to ensure it works with your climate. You can expect to see operating temperatures around negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and as high as around 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's impressive. Each TV is different, so make sure you check the specs and that the TVs can withstand the extremes of your climate. Once you've determined those factors, take a look at the extra features to choose the right TV for you. Make sure it has the inputs you need for any additional speakers you'd like to add. A fun feature on the Terrace Series TV from Samsung is the MultiView, great for watching live sports. Watch what's on your TV and phone at the same time on the same screen. Pull up your sports stats and don't miss a moment of the game. Also, don't forget to make sure your Wi-Fi reaches your outdoor TV so you can connect to your favorite streaming services. If it doesn't, look into a Wi-Fi extender or mesh network to extend your signal. Okay, so you can get a pretty big outdoor TV, but what about a really big screen? I mean, how about 114 inches big? An outdoor movie screen and portable projector is the way to go if you want to take your outdoor movie night to the next level. When choosing a projector for outdoor use, it's essential to consider factors such as brightness, resolution, and portability. First, let's talk brightness. For outdoor viewing, brighter is better. Brightness is measured in lumens. Will you be starting your movie nights at dusk? Look for a projector with 3,000 lumens or more. Or can you wait until it's truly dark out so you can get by with less lumens? For great outdoor evening viewing, check out the Epson Epic Vision Flex, an ultra-portable projector which can project a 3,000 lumen image. It has Android TV built in, so as long as you've got Wi-Fi, you can access apps like Netflix, Apple TV+, and YouTube. No need to connect to a computer. Now let's talk resolution. This refers to the number of pixels, both horizontally and vertically, used to capture video and images. The higher the resolution, the finer the detail that can be seen. 1080p resolution is considered full HD and includes a 1920 by 1080 pixel count. All right, now check out the Vankio Leisure 470 Pro, an ultra-portable projector that weighs only 2.2 pounds but can still project a full HD 1080p image. You can wirelessly mirror from your phone or connect video sources to the two built-in HDMI inputs. Both of these projectors include built-in speakers, but not all projectors do. And if you're inviting over a big audience for your movie night, you'll likely want to connect a larger speaker to it. Consider getting a projector stand too. This makes it easy to get the right placement and height for the projector. Way better than using a stack of books. And remember, projectors aren't typically designed to be left outdoors. So it's important to select an ultra portable projector that you can easily set up outside and bring indoors after. And finally, when using a projector outdoors, it's important to use a screen designed specifically for outdoor use, like this 114 inch screen from Insignia. Outdoor projector screens are made with materials that can withstand wind, rain, and even sunlight, ensuring you get a clear and vibrant picture. This screen has an air pump to blow it up and tie downs to keep it secure. And it looks pretty epic, right? As you can see, audio and video elements are essential for backyard entertaining. 
whether you're hosting a party or just enjoying a night under the stars. Thanks for watching, and check out our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy.